Awesome, so we did learn about classes in the previous video. In this video specifically, we're going to be learning about the constructors in Dart. Well, what are constructors? Constructors are nothing but just a simple way to entry into a class so that whenever a class object is created, it's going to be going through constructor first in order to check if there is anything else that has to be done and then creates the object for the class. So if you're not aware of what I'm talking about with respect to class or object, kindly check out the previous video so that you can actually get a good idea of what classes are in Dart and what objects do with respect to classes in Dart. So let's get into the video. I've got a lot of things to talk about with respect to constructors, what are different types of constructors that are available and also importantly, how do you create them in Dart? Let's begin. So what exactly are constructors in Dart? So Dart exactly does have a special member called as constructors. And these are actually not just specific to Dart. The constructors are everywhere. Constructors are used in every single language that you know. So what do they do is that they are responsible for creating some action before the object for the class is created. So we did see in the previous video that in order to call an object, in order to access an object of a class or a member of a class, we create an object for that class first and then use that to access the members of the class. So what exactly do they use uh, are they used for is that primarily used for initializing a variable let's say that the right example that i've given i have a var x which is present i want to give this value something so that uh, when the class object is initialized it gets initialized with that specific value so why do what do i exactly do i i'm going to be using the constructor to actually present my class object with a specific value that i can pass from any method that way the variable x that is actually present is initialized to that value i have actually done the sample example to the right and uh, as you can see in the right example the sample class is actually the class name and the constructor does also have the same name so that's the first point you have to remember so constructors are nothing but this the, the methods that are actually available inside the class with the name as same as the class name so when you have a name same as the class name you are very sure say that these are called as constructors and whenever an object is created these constructors are going to be initialized uh, i mean they're going to be called by default you don't have to worry about the dart does that for you let's go into dart pad and check uh, how do you create these constructors and what happens when you do create these constructors all right so i just created it's uh, completed creating the sample class here so what i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to be initializing a variable let's call this it I call it as x and in the variable i'm also going to be creating my first constructor like just we saw and i'm going to be doing this the sample class is now a method right just a simple sample definition of how a method should be defined now what you have to remember is that the sample class uh, constructor can now take arguments uh, as much as, as it want to so i can just pass a simple argument here let me call it x and i'm going to be doing the first this operator which is going to be useful for accessing this value so this is nothing but it's going to hold the object or the reference to the method or the class in which it is going to be present so this exactly means is that this is going to be referencing to the class here and the classes x is going to be initialized with this x so in other words you could do is that just call it where b and initialize the x with b so this is how exam exactly it's going to be used for but now i'm just going to change it to x for the sake of creating another just for the sake of creating the constructor to look a little bit simpler for me to understand and this is just a standard notation or the standard practice of how a constructor is created across all languages so just just go into our white main here as usual create a simple object let's call it as x let me call it a sample class and now i have i have to actually pass some value to this so that when the value is passed it goes directly to the constructor initializes the value for x for me and because as you can see it's it's pointing out an error saying that it has to take a value it is required to pass one positional argument in this place now previously it was not the problem because we gave simple empty method inside that now the constructors require a simple argument here and we definitely have to pass an argument let me pass 10 here and go into the next line and print the value of x here so this is now going to reference this s is going to be holding the object for this class and this class has been initialized with the constructor value of 10 and the 10 directly goes here and it's going to set the value of x for me through this method so that's the use of constructor now when i print print this x value here let's see what happens when you see the right it's printing the value 10 
so i hope you understand the flow of this method and flow of this problem and that's the primary primary use case of a constructor now just uh, just as we saw the constructor can be created in the way that is showed but if you want to make it super super simple you could actually make use of the syntactic sugar that is available with dart so what does the sugar do so what you have to do is that you are going to pass the variable x here and then initialize the this dot x with x, x which is a little bit costly right so what you can do instead is that just remove this here and directly call that this dot x here so what exactly are you saying is that whatever variable that is being passed in that position the x is going to be initialized so this dot x is going to be referencing to this variable here and when i run this it's still going to produce the value 10 for me so we have actually reduced the line of code we have actually made it super easy for us so let's say there's another couple of variables here where y is there and that is where is z so how do you actually go in and start initializing them directly call this dot y this dot z and here just pass the values 10 maybe 15 and 20 and in the inside this you can now print the values x y and z and you can see for yourself that these are actually constructors being called and syntactic sugar takes care of initializing the values and we've got our values here so this is a very simple way of actually calling a constructor in dart and that's the basics of dart here again all right, so type this. Look at the five different types of constructors in Dart. I'm going to be talking about the first three only, and I'm going to actually not talk about the last two because these are the important concepts that we have to learn about after we learn about the concept of abstract classes and factory classes, which is actually the next two videos coming up. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So these, the first three constructors are really simple. What does the default constructor do? Default constructor is actually going to be the constructor that is actually present whenever you create a class. Let's assume that you don't have a constructor here at all. Let me remove this for a minute. Now what happens is that when this is the case here, the dart takes care of creating a default constructor which we cannot see and it's automatically going to create the default constructor and pass nothing to that. So it's going to be like a null constructor or null function which is not going to take any value, not going to do anything. And that's the primary use of a default constructor. So Dart is going to create constructor no matter what. So that's going to be the base idea of constructors in uh, in classes. Next one is the name constructor. Name constructors are nothing but uh, let's assume that we have a class sample class here. Now I want to give it a sim another. I want to not call this sample class with this type of annotation rather i want to call it simple i want to name the constructor with something so that it's easy for me to understand say five years from now so how am i going to do that i'm just going to create the sample class dot i'm going to give it a name now i'm going to say let's call it maybe a named constructor now what i'm actually doing is that i'm, I'm saying that this sample class is now going to have a named constructor and the name constructor is, is going to do the value for work for me so i'll still have a var x here and i'm going to still do this here so what exactly is happening is that instead of calling the name of sample class here i can just do sample class dot i need to pass a value here so 10. now time to print the value let's see what happens so when I, when I run this example it's actually printing the value 10 and it's also doing the work of a constructor for me and that's the primary primary use of a named constructor you could actually you the notation is that you have to actually definitely reference the name of the class here first and then use that to create the name constructor and then from there on you do whatever you want to do and just as similarly as you create a sample class as an object you could do sample class or name constructor you could do this now let's say that you have another constructor you want to create you could actually do the same thing here and instead call it named constructor 2 and this would actually do something else now let's say the name constructor 2 is going to take this dot x let's say it's going to take a variable x but instead of actually uh, giving the this dot x is equal to x it's going to do x into 2 now what what do you think is going to happen now instead of calling the name constructor i'm going to call the name constructor 2 and when you run this you can see that the value is going to become 20 here why is that because we have created another constructor and using that constructor we have created the object for the class 
and using that object for the class we have actually referenced the value or we've changed the value of x just like that so that's going to be the use of a name constructor may very very useful when you're actually creating a large class with a lot of different constructors going flying here and there all right coming to the third one which is actually the redirecting constructor which is very simple again all right so what is the use of the redirect constructor so as you can see that some, there might be some scenarios in dart or when you're constructing a class that it requires you to actually redirect the, some constructor for example let's say the name constructor 2 has to be redirected back to the constructor here and that's going to be the use of that now let's create a simple constructor for example let's remove this here and let's say that i want to give it a simple constructor again let's create this call x is called this that x should be it it's like let's use the syntactic sugar now i want to redirect the name constructor remove this location here and i'm going to say this of let me give it a zero so what i'm actually doing is that whenever a name constructor is going to be called it respective of the value x i'm actually asking the name constructor to redirect to this constructor which is nothing but the class constructor with the value of zero so when i run this now irrespective of whatever value i'm going to be passing here it's always going to be zero for me and there could be reasons where there could be scenarios where this is very very useful but in other places where this could also be potentially causing problems so make sure to use your redirect constructors in a very proper manner all right so that's it for this video time to go summarize just remember that i'm going to be talking about the constant constructor and the factory constructor after you understand what do these two different things do is with respect to classes so let's go and summarize the video right here awesome so we did learn about constructors a very very important concept in dart and with respect to dart constructor classes so we learned three different constructors in this video i did i told tell you guys that i'll be talking about the two other constructors constant constructors and your factory constructors in the upcoming videos so going forward you're going to be taking it up a bit notch because this is a section tool like i have told you right at the start of the section we are going to be talking about some complex stuff and also the ideas that are going to be coming up in this video so make sure you have always take your notes if you want to grab these pdfs there's a link in the description just click that and you'll get your uh, materials right at the spot so that's it for this video make sure you're tuned in for the next upcoming videos until then it's Bharat, peace out have a super awesome day